Today's video, we've got yet another update on the PlayStation 5. A pretty notable developer in 4A Games has noted that they're more excited for yet to be announced Xbox Series X and PS5 features rather than the features that have already been announced. And given the fact that the feature suite for the PlayStation 5, especially from a technical standpoint, has already been announced, that's pretty exciting. Given that 4A Games is definitely a studio that ex uh, accentuates technicalities in video games, but nonetheless, we'll go over that. Also, PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 patent suggests the controller may use bio feedback to change the user experience. A new Sony patent shows concepts for improved PSVR controllers with finger tracking, and we've got some update on a variety of PlayStation 4 games as well. We'll go over those quickly at the end of this video. First up, 4A Games notes that they're more excited for yet to be announced Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 features. Metro developer 4A Games has teased more exhilarating features for the upcoming next generation consoles. Eurogamer recently published a new interview with 4A Games about the impressive Switch port of both Metro 2033 and Last Light, and in the same interview, the studio's chief technological officer, Ol Shitskanaska, was asked about the upcoming next-gen consoles and the key features that have been made public, including storage, graphical power, and ray tracing. Ray tracing is something that I would think would be right up 4A Games' alley, but nonetheless, he noted that 4A is dropping old-school techniques in favor of ray tracing for both the PS5 and Xbox Series X. The CTO also seemingly teased features for the next-gen consoles that have yet to be announced. Quote, we are fully into ray tracing, dropping old school code path techniques completely. Internally, we experimented a lot and with a spectacular result so far. You'll need to wait and see what we implement into our future projects. According to him, however, with the, while these publicly known features are impressive, he said he's more excited about features that are still in the pipeline, noting, quote, I am more excited for the not yet publicly revealed things. So what are those publicly yet to be revealed things i am not sure obviously there's going to be a lot of different implementations onto the playstation 5 to improve the user experience the visuals are going to be a lot better but i still have my skepticism as far as how far we can take this console i know that sony is going to be willing to sell the playstation 5 at a loss however if we're trying to get the console to a 500 hundred dollar price point there are going to be you know, inherent limitations. You can only do so much off a $500 price tag. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well, $500 is a lot to work with. The console should be incredibly powerful. That's not necessarily the case. It's not comparing apples to apples. It is apples to oranges. But look at a $500 PC. A $500 PC is not going to get you that far. It's going to run games uh, in a quality form, yes. But there are limitations with a $500 PC. Even if you build a seven, dollars $800 PC, there are going to be limitations. Honestly, there are all always some form of limitations on PC, but you guys get the idea. With a $500 console, those limitations are going to be a bit more accentuated, especially based on what we've heard thus far. Unless Sony does decide to go the route of not doing a $500 console, which is an entirely different video if that actually does come to pass. But for now, do know that there's a lot more features in the pipeline. And 4A Games, a studio that definitely does accentuate the visuals in their video games, that's what they're more so excited for. So still some exciting things to be announced with the PS5. All right, moving on from that, the PlayStation 5 DualShock 5 controller may use biofeedback to change the user experience a recent patent suggests. The patent, as first reported by Respawn First, confirms that biofeedback information such as changes in electrodermal activity obtained through sensors placed on the controller will be used to select between one or more options presented in a piece of content without the user having to provide further input. This would allow the implementation of highly interactive experiences. Quote, there is a desire in computer gaming to provide an immersive and highly interactive experience for players, so as to enhance the enjoyment of the player, this has become of particular interest with the increasing availability of head-mounted displays plays. Details on the PlayStation 5 console continue to be scarce despite the release window uh, getting closer. Gran Turismo series creator Kazunori Yamauchi suggested last week that the power of the console could be used to push frame rates higher than 60 frames per second for future entries in the series. Quote, rather than a spatial resolution that you're talking about, I'm more interested in the investments we can make in terms of the time resolution. In terms of frames per second, rather than staying at 60 FPS, I'm more interested in raising it to 120 FPS or even, get this, 200 
240 frames per second. I think that's what's going to be changing the experience from here on forward. 240 FPS, I think, would be a little bit ambitious. 120, I think, is entirely possible. At the point of 240, maybe I'm memeing, but can you really notice the difference between 120 and 240? It's not going to be as apparent as, say, 30 to 60 or 60 to 120. Uh, I play games at 144 on PC, however, and I definitely notice a difference on 144 hertz versus 60 hertz. If that's uh, a significant, significant difference. I've never played a game at 240 frames per second, so I can't really speak on that. However, I do think the PlayStation 5 would have some limitations, although it's not like Gran Turismo is this technical juggernaut most of the time. They can push higher frame rates in those games relatively easily. Um, so that is something that might come to pass. Also, the Sony patent shows concept for improved PSVR controllers with finger tracking. It's highly likely Sony will be looking into a new iteration of its PlayStation VR tech as detailed by Push Squares, especially with PS5 on the horizon. One recently approved patent goes over some nifty ideas for a supposed PSVR 2, though whether the final product bears any resemblance remains to be seen. Now yet another patent uh, from Sony thanks to upload VR focuses in on virtual reality controllers. In the images, the concept for the device is reminiscent of Valve's index controllers. If you're unfamiliar, they behave much like PlayStation Move controllers, but feature a strap that goes around the back of the hand, allowing the player to let go of the device without dropping it. This, combined with a multitude of sensors and finger tracking technology, makes for much more accurate input, especially for gestures and picking up virtual objects. The drawings also show four buttons surrounding what looks like a thumbstick. It's not that surprising Sony is exploring all sorts of hardware, especially because I think they're going to remain in invest into PlayStation VR, which is great to see because Sony and new peripherals, sometimes it goes really well, but more often than not, you get things like the PlayStation Vita, and that doesn't turn out all that well. Obviously, PlayStation Vita was its own entire platform, but you get the idea. There have been times where Sony has introduced various things, and they seem committed for the, you know, first month, for six months, maybe even the first year, and then it kind of falls off with PlayStation VR. They've remained, uh, they've remained committed this whole time. They've released first-party titles. There have been a lot of games coming out for it. Very, very good stuff out of Sony as far as PSVR goes, and it's going to be a big component to the PlayStation 5 as well. All right, so that's all the PlayStation 5 talk. I do want to cover a couple of games that we have updates for on PlayStation 4. We still got PS4 games coming out, of course. First up, we have Element Space for PS4. That's long March 24th, and we know that voiceovers and narrative-friendly gameplay mode has been added for the console release of the game. The PlayStation 4 version of the science fiction tactical RPG Element Space will launch on March 24th for $24.99. Publisher Blowfish Studios and developer Six Vowel have announced it'll support English, French, German, Spanish, Russian, and simplified Chinese language options. And it notes in $21.99, the terrorist group Tempest unleashed a series of coordinated strikes across the solar system, ending an era of uneasy peace for humanity in its newfound home among the stars. Framed for the attack, Captain Christopher Pythiam and his elite squad of troopers set out on a journey across the galaxy to clear their names and save humanity from a genocidal conspiracy. Maneuver soldiers in strategic turn-based combat prepared with intense action sequences across 24 battlefields, teeming with destructible cover and environmental hazards. Form a team recruiting companions with distinct abilities, beliefs, and allegiances. Gear them up with an armory of more than 30 weapons, then gain favor with a variety of factions to unlock new perks and power skills to lead the unit and take the fight to Tempest in a myriad of different ways. Make decisions that carry weight on and off the battlefield. Element Space's ideological system tracks narrative choices and combat actions, impacting how Pythium is viewed by his allies and the world around him. Certain actions will attract recruitable characters to the cause, while others can trigger events and open entirely new branches of the story to explore. So Element Space will be hitting the PlayStation 4 on March 24th, so a lot of reason to be excited for that. And also, Deliver Us the Moon makes us, uh, makes the transition to the PlayStation 4 on April 24th. Deliver Us the Moon, released on PC back in October of 2019, received very well over there with 1,397 Steam user reviews, 87% positive. And overall, a very atmospheric sci-fi adventure game. Now it's coming to the PS4, powered by Unreal Engine 4. Deliver Us the Moon is set in an apocalyptic near future where the Earth's resources have been depleted and humanity looks to the stars. Nations band together to create the World Space Agency, an organization tasked with solving the extreme energy crisis. The solution, colonization and exploitation of the moon's natural reserves of helium-3 to serve the energy needs of a growing Earth population. Suddenly and without warning, communications with the moon cease and the energy source is lost, plunge into darkness, and without power, years pass as world governments come together once more to embark on a new mission to re-establish the energy supply and with it, hope for the human race. 
Deliver Us the Moon looks to be a very atmospheric adventure game, and the science fiction thriller will be coming to the PlayStation 4 on April 24th. So that's going to conclude this video again. As far as the PlayStation 5 goes, little as far as concrete information, but one developer is very excited for yet to be announced features, so a lot of unannounced stuff is still to come with the PlayStation 5 from a feature sense. PlayStation 5's DualShock 5 patent suggests the controller may use biofeedback to change user experience. A new patent shows concept for improved PSVR controllers. Element Space is coming to PS4 March 24th, and Deliver Us the Moon will be dropping April 24th. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.